Okay, we've got to say why heating food in a saucepan, like so, and above a hob, is inefficient. Now this question is worth two marks, but it's only really one answer. It's one of those annoying questions where you've got to somehow squeeze two marks out of just, well, it's essentially just one, one fact. So this is a skill you've got to practice and get good at in order to take exams. The one answer is that a lot of heat is lost to the surroundings and a relatively small proportion of the heat energy from the flame goes into the food. So how do you get two marks out of that? Well, firstly, write that down. Say that a lot of the heat energy from the flame goes into heating the surrounding air and the saucepan itself and a fairly small, relatively small fraction goes into the heating the food itself. Okay, so how do you get the second mark? Well, you've got to be a little bit imaginative and break it down a bit. You could say that there's no lid on the saucepan, for example, so a lot of the heat is escaping. Once the food has been heated, it's actually escaping the, from the food itself into the surrounding air. Um, what else can you say? Uh, well, I think I've kind of already said it. As well as heating the surrounding air, it's also heating the pan itself. So there you go. Mention all those things, you get the two marks. It's heating the pan, it's heating the air, and heat is being lost through the top part of the pan itself. That's how you break down a question and get extract two marks from what is basically just one thing. Okay, moving on. Part B. Right, they've given you this design for a new pan which is more efficient because it's got fins on the outside and it's black. So it's got fins and it's black. And you have to say why these design features make it more efficient. Well, the fins, this is a classic thing in physics. It comes up all the time, larger surface area. You could probably write down larger surface area for every answer in an exam, so you'll get about 50%. There's a slight exaggeration, but the reason the, the fins make it more efficient is they do get a larger surface area, which means there's a larger area for the heat energy to be absorbed into the pan and hence the food. Okay, so the fins, larger surface area. Right, the fact that it's black, how does that help? Well, don't say that black objects absorb heat better. You, you will still get the mark for that in the exam, according to the mark scheme, but it's better to say that black objects absorb infrared energy better. So better absorber Is that right? Spelling is fortunately not the focus here. Better absorber of infrared energy. Okay, good. What next? Right, part C, you have to state the relationship between temperature and the rate of infrared emission. Well, you've just got to remember this and regurgitate it for the exam. The higher the temperature, 
the greater the rate of infrared emission. Simple as that. Okay, well there we go. Anything else to say? Well, the hotter the pan, the greater the rate of infrared emission. Yeah, maybe you can improve that last answer slightly just by saying the greater the rate of infrared emission. And I'm being slightly lazy. You should obviously write it out in fra red. Don't just write IR. And note the spelling infra, not infrared. Infrared. Okay, don't don't spell it like that. It's infrared. Okay, here endeth the lesson.